こんにちは。Hello everyone. I'm Hoko. This time I'll introduce you to Masaoka Shiki. Shiki is one of the four great haiku masters in Japan, along with Basho, Buson, and Issa. Basho established the first line of haikai linked verses as an independent art form. It was called Hokku, and this is the origin of haiku. Shiki revived haiku into a new culture which many people would easily enjoy. By Shiki's time, haiku was going to perish with the opening of Western civilization. In addition to haiku, Shiki also innovated tanka poetry. Tanka is another form of poetry and it is also called waka poetry. Tanka or waka poetry has five lines with five, seven, five, seven, seven Japanese syllables and it has traditionally been the basic form of Japanese poetry. The life of Shiki was very short, only 34 years. And besides, he spent his last six years bedridden with pain at home. Now I'll introduce you to his haiku and tanka poetry and his life. I hope you'll enjoy it. Shiki passed away at the age of 34 in September 1902. The same year, Shiki wrote three essays for one major newspaper, which he had been working as a journalist and haiku editor. The title of one essay is A Six Foot Sick Bed. And this title showed his world. For his last six years until his death, he had been confined to his bed due to painful tuberculosis of the spine. He continued to write this essay for the newspaper daily until three days before his death. The day before his death, his closest disciples were called in. In his painful physical condition, Shiki wrote haiku on a piece of paper. Attached to a drawing board with the help by his sister and disciple. Hejima saite, tan no tsumari shi, hotoke kana. Sponge goes in bloom, here is a dead man, choked with film. He continued to write two more haiku, then dropped his brush and went to sleep. In the evening, he woke up and groaned with pain. So the doctor injected him with morphine for the second time that day. He fell asleep again and died peacefully that midnight. In 1867, when Shiki was born, the Shogun General of the Tokugawa military government returned the power to the emperor, and the new era with the emperor at the top was established. For 250 years before that, Japan had been close to the rest of the world. The new government actively imported Western culture, and people began to regard the traditional Japanese culture as outdated things of the past. Lots of people thought those cultures would be out of existence. It was Shiki who revived the dining art of haiku and tanka poetry into something innovative. And push them into popular culture. The haiku magazine, founded under his guidance, still continues to the present day. The tanka magazine, founded by his closest disciple, continued for 90 years. Even though Shiki was confined to bed during his last six years, he put all his energies to literary works such as writing poems, critical pieces, and diary essays. For the newspaper or books, he also joined with friends and disciples who gathered beside his sickbed to discuss the literature. His mother and younger sister devoted themselves to caring for him. Borrowing from the vocabulary of Western painting, he used the word "sketching from life" to describe the technique that forms the basis of his poetic works. He advised, without being bound by the conventions of the past, 
be open and natural in your approach and try to broaden the scope of your work. Don't limit the materials to time-worn subjects. Use the materials from your daily lives, no matter what trivial things. Anything can be materials. Materials for poetry are around you. While keeping these suggestions in mind, we appreciate his 16 haiku and three tanka poems. Except for the first five haiku, he composed the other poems when he was sick in bed. Walking in the suburbs, he saw Mount Tsukuba far away and wrote haiku. Akatombo, Tsukuba ni kumomo, nakari keri. A red dragonfly, no clouds over Mount Tsukuba. Hira hira to, cho kinari, mizu no ue. Flattering, flattering, butterflies are yellow over the water. Yono naka no, omoni oroshite, hiru ne kana. Unloading the burdens of the world. I take a nap. During his trip to Nara Prefecture, he stopped by a tea shop near Horyuji Temple and wrote haiku. Horyuji Temple is the world's oldest surviving wooden structure. Kaki kueba, kane ga naru nari, Horyuji. When I eat a persimmon, the bell rings, Horyuji Temple. Shiki wrote haiku about spiders, which had never been the subject of poetry before. Kumo korosu, ato no sabishiki, yozamu kana. After killing a spider, how lonely the cold night. Natsu arashi, kijou no hakushi, tobi itsukusu. Summer storm, blank paper on the desk. All blown off. Because of his illness, he could not move and see the snow on the garden in front of his room. He wrote haiku. Iku tabi mo, yuki no fukasa o tazune keri. Again and again, how deep is the snow, I ask. When Shiki was in late teens, he was so absorbed in baseball. The American teacher at his school introduced baseball to the students, and from there, baseball became known to the general public. Shiki changed English expressions for the game into Japanese, and some of them are still in use today. Later, he wrote articles on baseball rules for newspaper and popularized the new sport in Japan. In the present, he is in the baseball hall of fame. Remembering the days when he enjoyed baseball, he wrote haiku. Natsukusa ya baseball no hito toshi. Summer grass, people playing baseball in the distance. Glassware was a rare item imported from Western countries at that time. One of his disciples installed glass on the sliding door so that Shiki could see the garden from inside. Shiki wrote haiku. Garasu goshi ni fuyu no hi ataru bioma kana. Through the glass window, the winter sun shines in my sick room. Although he was bedridden, he made it a daily routine to draw a still life. Akaringo, aoki ringo ya taku no ue. A red apple, a green apple on the table. Shiki liked persimmons very much and wrote several haiku about persimmons. The year before he passed away, he wrote haiku. Kaki kuu mo kotoshi bakari to omoi keri. Eating persimmons now. I feel this year, maybe my last. Tarachine no hanami no rusu ya tokei miru. 
My mother is not home for cherry blossom viewing. I watch the clock. バラを切るハサミの音やサツキバレ。The sound of scissors cutting roses. A clear sky in May. かぼちゃよりなす難しき写生かな。Sketching a still life. Eggplant is more difficult than pumpkin. 草花を描く日課や秋にいる。My daily routine, drawing flowers or plants. The season is now autumn. 首上げて折り折り見るや庭の萩。Lifting my head, now and then I look. Bush clovers in the yard. Next, you will appreciate his tanka poetry. クレナイの二尺伸びたるバラの芽の針柔らかに春雨の降る。クリムゾン、ローズバス、トレジンアウト、トゥトゥフィッド、ディアテンダーソンズ、フォーリングザスプリングレイン。マサゴナス、カズナキ星のその中に、我に向かいて光る星あり。n u m b e r l e s s stars, like suns on a beach, among them, there is one shining straight at me. One day after dinner, Shiki was lying face up in bed. Then he noticed a vase of wisteria on the desk beside him. The flowers are so beautiful that he wrote ten Dagger poems about the wisteria that night. This is one of them. Kame ni sasu, fuji no hanabusa, mijika kereba, tatami no ue ni todokazari keri. Wisteria blossoms, put in a vase, hung down. They are too short to reach the tatami floor. I'll tell you more about his life. In 1867, Shiki was born at Matsuyama in the present Ehime Prefecture on Shikoku Island. Since Matsuyama is the birthplace of Shiki and his closest disciples, today is famous as a place where haiku is especially popular. The house where Shiki spent his childhood has been restored And is open to the public. His father was the lower class samurai warrior and passed away when Shiki was five years old. From an early age, Shiki studied Chinese poetry, haiku, and tanka poetry from his relatives and people around him. Shiki was particularly interested in composing poetry. Tokyo was a center of politics and culture. Shiki began to think of going to Tokyo and achieving success in his studies. With the help of his uncle, who lived in Tokyo, Shiki went to Tokyo at the age of 16 and got a scholarship for studying at schools. During his school days, every time when he came back to his native house, Shiki learned Tanka and haiku poetry from the local poets. When he was 20, his haiku appeared in print for the first time in a publication presided over his teacher. At the age of 21, on a short trip with a friend, Shiki vomited blood for the first time. The next year, he vomited blood for one week. Shiki is not his real name. But his pen name, Shiki, means a little cuckoo in Japanese. He named Shiki as his pen name after the bird because a little cuckoo was described as a bird which sings so much that it will miss blood. From the age of 22, he began to read and evaluate ancient waka poetry collections and major haiku poems after Basho as many as possible. And formulated his own ideas. In the process of his works, Shiki discovers that Guson's haiku were wonderful. Those days, Guson's haiku had been forgotten. 
He appraised Busong as a haiku poet even better than Basho. At the age of 25, when he was a prestigious university student, Shiki began to write several essays for one of the major newspapers. Through these works, his haiku innovation activities began. At that time, the word hokku was commonly used. As Shiki wrote articles in newspaper using the word haiku, the word haiku became established in the world. After failing in examinations within the university, Shiki decided to drop out and work for the newspaper where he had been writing a series of articles. He brought his mother and sister from his hometown to live with him. At the age of 28, he went to China as a military reporter for the Sino-Japanese War. The war ended soon and he returned home. However, this trip abroad made his health worse and, for a time, he was hospitalized in critical condition. Around the age of 29, he began to have difficulty walking and spent most of his time in bed. Even though he was bedridden, he actively published articles in newspapers on the new style of haiku he proposed. His ideas were widely accepted by the public. After the success of the haiku innovation movement, he started the tanka innovation movement. Shiki often held haiku and tanka poetry meetings at home, and his successors grew up to carry on his activities. Today, haiku lovers are all over the world. This was a story about Masaoka Shiki. Thank you for watching.